This video does not endorse any legal or illegal activity. This is strictly for documentary and educational purposes only. Thanks, YouTube. Roblox is a massively popular online gaming platform that allows users to create and play their own games. It features a vast array of user-generated content from simple games to more complex experiences, all built on the platform's proprietary game engine. It also includes social features such as chat, friends list, and groups, making it a popular destination for gamers of all ages. But today's video is a bit different. Today we'll be diving into the dark side of Roblox. You may think of this as just a fun online game. Game, but did you know that criminals are using it to launder millions of dollars? That's right, we're talking about a scheme that's not only illegal but also deeply concerning. So buckle up and prepare to be shocked by the sinister ways that some people are using this popular game to hide their dirty money. Roblox was founded in 2004 by David Bazuki, I hope I pronounced that name right, and Eric Cassell, originally called Dynablox. The platform was designed to allow users to create and play games in a virtual world. Over time, it grew in popularity and became the Roblox we know today. But what about the popular in-game currency known as Robux? Robux is the virtual currency used in Roblox, and it was introduced in 2007. Before Robux, Roblox used a currency called Roblox Points, but this was eventually replaced with Robux. So, what can you do with Robux? This currency can be used to purchase a variety of items within the Roblox platform, such as avatars, accessories, game passes, and even some games themselves. They can be used to advertise your own games or to purchase a premium membership, which comes with additional benefits. Users can earn Robux by creating and selling their own items within the platform or by allowing other users to play their games and charging for in-game purchases. This has led to a vibrant community of creators and developers developers who are constantly coming up with new and exciting experience for Roblox players. Now one interesting thing about Robux is that it can actually be exchanged for real money to the Roblox developer exchange program known as DevX. However, it is important to note that DevX is only available to users who have earned a minimum of 100,000 Robux and there are certain restrictions and requirements that must be met before Robux can be exchanged for real money. So where does all of the criminal activity come into play you may ask? Well first, we need to learn learn what money laundering is. In the most simple way I can put it, money laundering is when someone tries to hide or disguise money that comes from bad things such as stealing and selling illegal drugs. They do this by making money look like it comes from something good and legal, like a business for example. This is very bad because it helps criminals get away with their crimes and makes it harder for the police to catch them. It's important to always do the right thing and never try to hide or disguise money that comes from horrible activities. So how does this fit into Roblox? Well remember how you can use the Roblox currency and convert it into real money via games, passes, and clothing. This is exactly the workaround that criminals use to exploit the game and earn millions of dollars from illegal activities and making their money look like it came from creating fun Roblox games. According to a pretty recent court filing, users seem to be, and I quote, using the Roblox platform to send money to one another by purchasing fake items, a highly inefficient and costly means of transferring money which suggests they may be engaging in money money laundering, or other improper behavior." End of quote. This is a part of a nearly two year long lawsuit filed against Roblox involving the sale of in-game items between users for exchange of Robux. It was also alleged that Roblox removed some game items from players after they had been sold, which had deprived players of their money and the item they paid for. This got Roblox into a lot of trouble with the law as people filed tons of lawsuits which led to this main lawsuit and the response from Roblox is that the reason behind this decision was due to suspicious items being purchased from accounts that have spent thousands of dollars worth of Robux with these Robux going to the same sellers and buyers multiple times. So what does this mean in a more literal sense? See many other games have the same type of phenomena such as Fortnite for example just as in Roblox and this process can be split up into four phases, starting with phase number one. The criminal will create or hack into an account and acquire various items of value with illegal money. Take for example a person who steals credit cards and uses them to buy Robux, and then with the Robux they buy various memberships or clothing items. Phase two, the criminal's associates will buy, sell, and or transfer the items among themselves, creating a web of transactions and hiding the fact that they are related in 
any way, making the whole scheme seem much more legit. Phase 3 The criminal may alternatively set up multiple accounts themselves with fake identities and buy, sell, and or trade items among themselves. Phase 4 The criminal will then withdraw the funds to his or her bank account and or buy, prepaid cards. So now how would this all play out in practice? Well, let's say you managed to get your hands on a bunch of credit cards. You could in theory create an account and host a game which has a membership program. Then make a bunch of other accounts, buy Robux on those accounts and using the Robux you would buy a membership for your own game. Once you make enough money on your main account, you would apply for the Roblox Developer Exchange Program. And once you gain 100,000 Robux, you can start converting it into real money and put it into your bank. Alternatively, you could sell items for lower prices via various social medias and make a fortune that way. So in conclusion, while Roblox and other online games offer many opportunities for creativity, entertainment, and even financial gain that is totally legal, it is important to remember that illegal activities such as money laundering are not tolerated on these platforms and can get you into a lot, and I mean a lot, of trouble. Money laundering is a serious crime that can have severe legal and financial consequences, and it is important to always do the right right thing and follow the law. By reporting any suspicious activities and working together to create a safe and ethical online community, we can ensure that everyone can enjoy the benefits of online gaming without risking their safety or well-being. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. Check out my brand new gaming drink, first link in the description. Anyways, this has been Boyo. Peace out.